Hey, what's up? Be Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I am going to be showing you one of the most anticipated features in GBA for iOS 2.0, and that is cheats. I know a lot of you guys love using cheats in your games, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to add cheats into any of your favorite Game Boy Advance games. So, right now, I'm going to show you some cheats that I already have in Pokemon Emerald. And then I'm going to show you how to add cheats and it's actually really simple so thank the developer Riley Testa for making adding cheats so simple and easy to use. So here I'm going to go into my Pokemon Emerald save state here and I'm going to show you that I already have the cheat walk through walls which is actually a really popular one and is actually very handy. So as you can see I can walk through these trees and I can do all this good stuff. Now I'm going to show you right now that I I do have random encounters because the next cheat I'm going to be showing you how to get is how to is had no random encounters. That's the name of the cheat, and I'm also going to be showing you how to get cheats in general. So, first thing first, how to add cheats is simple. You go into the menu wherever it is on your skin, and from here you're going to click on cheat codes. As you can see there, pretty simple. And when you click on cheat codes, you'll have a screen like this, most likely without any cheats. And you'll click edit at the top left to get this screen, and then the plus at the top right to get a screen like this. And as you can see, you can name your cheat and all that good stuff. But how are we going to get cheats? It's actually very simple. We're going to go ahead and head over to Safari. And I'm going to be showing you how to get an action replay cheat, but you can use the same method for every other type of cheat. So I already have this website here, it's called Code Junkies, and it was given to me by Tyler Livingston, the 120th Whisper, my good friend. And this is actually the site that Action Replay recommends that you go to to get cheats. And I'm going to be showing you how to get the No Random Battle cheat. And now you see, when I go to copy it, I get the whole thing, and you only want the cheat when you insert it. So I'm going to go ahead and copy it, but before I paste it into GBA for iOS 2.0, I'm going to go into my notes just so that... I can format it properly and make sure that it doesn't get messed up when I actually paste it in. So I'm just going to go to my notes here. I'm going to paste the cheat because all we want is the code, not the title. And I'm going to make it into this format, which is actually very simple. You don't always have to do this. Just copy the cheats, not the name. And now from here, I'm going to click on cheat codes as I showed you. Click on edit at the top left, plus at the top right. And now to put the name of the cheat, I'm going to call it No Random Encounters. And then I'm going to go into the code and I'm going to paste the code just as I copied it. Make sure that if it's an action replay code, you have action replay purple. If it's Game Shark, Game Shark purple, all that good stuff. Click save and done. And now you're going to see that when I go into the graphs, I am not going to get any random encounters. So that just goes to show that the cheats do work. Now, I provided you with the Code Junkies website because the codes in that website will work every time. But be warned, cheat codes can be made by anyone and most of the time they probably aren't going to work. So when you're looking for cheat codes, just go ahead and search whatever cheat you want. But if it doesn't work, it's most likely because the cheat itself doesn't work. And as you can see here, you can put in your Game Shark or Code Breaker codes just by simply looking them up on the internet as I'm going to do now. So just to get cheats, you have to get cheats for each game individually. So I'm going to go ahead and search Pokemon Emerald Game Shark Codes. And when I get that, I can just go ahead and find the code that I want online and use the same method that I just showed you by pasting it into the cheat, naming it, labeling it as it's correctly, Action Replay or Game Shark, and that is how you add cheats to GBA for iOS 2.0. Very simple and easy. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any further questions, then feel free to leave them in the comments section below. But, if you have any questions about cheats, then go ahead and leave them. If you have any other questions about GBA for iOS 2.0, then I recommend that you check out my FAQ about GBA for iOS 2.0 because your question just might be answered there. Anyways, if you want to learn more about GBA for iOS 2.0, I definitely recommend that you check out my playlist where I have a ton of videos on the topic of GBA for iOS 2.0 and you can learn a lot about it there. Anyways, with GBA for iOS 2.0 around the corner and we can see an early 2014 release, I definitely recommend that you subscribe because if you want to be the first to know when GBA for iOS 2.0 comes out and a tutorial on how to get it, then subscribe because I will be the first to upload that video. Anyways, again, thanks for watching and welcome to the operation.